What's up, guys? T5 Administrator here. We are on NBA 2K19, and as you can see on my screen, OKC, we are in. in um. League right now. About to do a rebuild. We are in. I'm actually going to do. I think the last rebuild I did was with the Knicks, and I ended up doing something along the lines of. Um, LeBron to the Knicks, which was pretty interesting. So, usually these rebuilds get a decent amount of views. Um, I don't really like doing them that much because I just don't, I don't, I don't know. I don't know how interesting this is. But as we do this rebuild, what I am going to do is, is talk a little bit about what exactly I, I'm about to start doing on this channel because you, there's a lot of sports games content that's been going out. And I kind of need to explain it. So, um, we'll get to that when we start um, figuring out who exactly is getting traded away. There's a lot of big contracts on this team. We're going to figure out which ones we're going to keep, which ones we're going we're gonna to get out of here, um, stuff along those. So, it is pretty dark in my room right now. Um, mostly because it's nighttime. And when I turn the lamp on, the lighting in the lighting is just really bad. So the best way for me to really do this is with the lights turned off and using certain settings on the webcam. But um if you guys don't really follow the NBA, okay, blockbuster trade went down uh, kind of a while ago. Um Paul George was shipped to the Clippers. Kawhi then signed to the Clippers. Chris Paul was then shipped to the Thunder in exchange for Russell Westbrook. And, you know, and um, some other some other things went down. So, Gallinari, Paul George trade, you know, you, you kind of can see how this went down, I guess. You know, hope, I mean, I hope, I hope you kind of know how it went down if you're watching this video. You kind of want to know how it's going to unfold. So... Gallinari is 30 years old. I'm not sure if if he's going to regress or anything. I don't know if I really want to trade him. He's got two years, $44 million. Uh, uh, Roberson. Roberson, wing defender, as you can see. Very good defender. He can most of the time guard um, the other team's best guard. Um, Schroeder, I'm not really sure what I'm going to do with Schroeder. I think Schroeder's going to be going to get traded. Um, Shea Gillis Alexander will be here. Why is Richard Jefferson in this roster? On, on these rosters, hold on. I just I I downloaded these rosters from from roster sharing, so I'm not entirely sure what Richard Jefferson is doing here. But um, let's just get into it. I'm pretty sure Hamadou Diallo is not he, not supposed to be here anymore. But the Richard Jefferson thing is kind of weird. But I'll take it. C minus from three. He's a perimeter threat. Anyway, let's get some trades going. So we'll do. We'll package together Roberson, Schroeder, and a second round 2020 pick, and see what we can get from it. To be honest, I don't really want to trade for more big contracts. I kind of want to trade for contracts that are smaller. And there's not really much of that going on here. So, Gordon Hayward and Robert Williams is an idea. Um, KCP, Rondo on a $19 million contract is not happening. Like, I really, I don't want that at all. Um, really, at this point, a lot of these are, are big contracts. So, we might as well just try to get the most bang for our buck here. And Gordon Hayward might be that, I would imagine. So, I think we're going to do, we're going to pick up Gordon Hayward post leg breakage. And maybe at some point he returns to his old form. Now, do we keep Steven Adams? I think we do. I think we do keep Steven Adams. Um, Mike Muscala has an interesting contract that I don't really want. Um, five, mm, do I want it though? Five million dollars a year for a stretch four. But we do have Patterson. We do have Gallinari. Um, Darius Baisley looks as if he might. He's got a C from three, so maybe he can knock down some of those shots. Muscala apparently has a D plus 
from three, which that's interesting. So we'll see if we can get Muscala, Muscala's contract out of here because I want to be able to win. To to the the whole object of this is to win with Chris Paul, but he's not going to do it by himself. Obviously, he's thirty three years old. So we're gonna have to keep him for this year and be able to sign someone good next year. And I'm I'm sorry if you can hear my AC in the background. There's the vent right over top of me. Not really much I can do about that. There's a lot of sounds that go on that I just can't really do much about. Um, Troy Daniels is very interesting. Mejri is very interesting. He's a big dude. Uh, can't really go wrong with Mejri size. But I think we're going to go with Troy Daniels, legal trade, requires a trade acceptance, add exception, yeah, we can, that's fine. Um, I guess Troy Daniels is here now. I don't really plan on us winning that much in the first year. Um, we could do a Carmelo Anthony signing. But I feel like if we do a Carmelo Anthony signing, somebody else's contract is gonna have to go. Um, I don't want to add Carmelo Anthony's con. Carmelo Anthony's not gonna be a very small contract. Carmelo Anthony, to be honest, the only reason I would sign him is because I love Carmelo Anthony. That's it. Um, there's not really much reason to sign him. But let's just see what happens if we package together Adams, Gallinari, and Gordon Hayward. Blake Griffin and Andre Drummond. Is that a is that a cop right there? So let's see. We got how much different is the money here? So let's say okay, seventy seven, forty four, sixty, hundred eighty. Mm, this actually frees up cap space too. So yes. Thank you very much. We will do that. So, CP3 is back with Blake Griffin. This time he's got Andre Drummond with him. Shea Gilgis Alexander is definitely promising. We're going to have to keep him for a, a little bit. Um, but this team might actually win a little bit more than expected with that trade. Um, chemistry is way down. Um, I don't know if I should ke even keep chemistry on, to be honest. Um, with that trade happening, us freeing up a little more space, we still don't really have mellow money, um, but he signs for $5 million. So I'll take it. I'm not sure what all we're going to do this year to, um, win. Did he not just take the offer? Did he say no? I guess he did. That's interesting. What do you say? Declined? Yeah. We are really far in the hole with money. We might have to might have to trade away more. Maybe Nerlens Noel goes, but Nerlens Noel. Whatever. Let's just Okay. So we won forty seven games. Steph Curry MVP, Zion Rookie of the Year. Surge, six man of the year. I like love me some Serge Ibaka. Defensive Player of the Year, Giannis Antetokounmpo. Jordan Clarkson, most improved, averaging 18.3 points. Um, somebody's finally getting Jordan Clarkson's uh, actual worth out of his fat contract. That is uh, not bad. John Morant makes All-NBA third team. Zion Williamson makes All-NBA second team. And Chris Paul makes All-NBA first team? Averaging 22.2 points, 10.5 assists, 2.4 steals. Woo! 33-year-old Chris Paul going stupid out here, man. So do we have any other... Um, was Steven Adams better than Drummond, though? That's the question. Steven Adams' points went up to 14.2. He averaged 11.5 boards... 1.6 steals and 1.8 blocks. Um, let's see how Drummond did. I'm going to go to player stats. Uh, 
Blake Griffin, of course, is hurt in the playoffs. Drummond averaged 16.2, 13.3 rebounds, 1.7 steals, and 1.4 blocks. I would say that he was better than Steven Adams this season, which is great. Um, Troy Daniels ended up averaging 11.6. Um, was he coming off the bench or was he starting? Um, let's check the rotation because I didn't change the rotation. So, Troy Daniels was starting uh, 28 minutes, 11 points. I don't know how I feel about that. Um, the lineup looks kind of kind of weird, but I, I guess it kind of works because um, Quincy, Quincy Pondexter, I would imagine D-plus from three, so he can knock down a couple of them. Patterson, C-minus from three, so at the, at the three and the four, we got a little bit of shooting. Troy Daniels, CP3 is probably most likely ISO'd up, and we have a lot. Uh, he's so ball dominant. He, he probably makes good passes to these two, good passes to him. He probably knocks down a lot of shots. Um, Drummond gets a lot of boards. Um, I would imagine there's some decent defense getting played here, and I would, I, that's probably why we won so many games. But we're the seventh seed, and we got Golden State first. Um, Golden State beats us in game one. Golden State beats us in game two. We we win a game. We win a game. We don't get 3 0 We it got tie the series 2-2. Do we upset Golden State? We are oh, we're up 3-2. Blake Griffin must have came back and saved us, bro. Blake Griffin averaging Blake Griffin getting 36 in game six. Right behind Ter Ooh, Ferguson? Ferguson with 14 and 5 assists, 2 steals, shooting 5 for 6 and 4 for 5 from 3. That is what I like to see. These guys are pretty good. We got Utah next. Um, I don't know about us beating this team. But we did beat Golden State. But Utah just beat just beat the Clippers. Um, held Kawhi to 9. Um... Where is Paul George? I would imagine Paul George is hurt. Kawhi Leonard got hurt, and PG has been hurt. So this team was riddled with injuries. Their best player basically being Sweet Lou Williams. They could not pull it out against the Jazz. Um, we are completely healthy, so maybe we can come out. And win this series, we come out slow, and that's the series we get 4-1. Um, Utah looking real good. They're going in against the Rockets now, Russ and Harden. Russ and Harden get taken out in the final. Oh, no, no. Oh, Utah goes to the finals with Milwaukee. And they 4-1 the... Ooh, that boy go bear. Finals MVP. Let's check the box score. Um... Held Giannis to only 26. 26 is really good, but I would imagine Gobert was on him a lot. Um, Corver with 12. Uh, Moutier with 15. Conley with 16. And Donovan Mitchell and Rudy Gobert doing their thing, being the second and first best players on that team. Um, I, that that seems pretty possible. Um, Chris Paul is, is on a plus two at age 34. He doesn't seem to be regressing yet, which is good. Um, see what's going on in the draft lottery. We didn't trade for any picks, but let's see who does get the first pick. And it's the Memphis Grizzlies. Okay, they must have been bad. Um, staff signing. Billy Donovan did well this year. So I think we're, that's really all I'm worried about is our coach. I think Billy Donovan did a decent job this year. Um... Let's go straight to the draft. Let's skip to our pick. We have the 21st pick in the first round. Let's see. Um, I didn't do any scouting at all. Um, but I kind of like Anton Watson because Quincy Pondexter was just starting. So we're going to take him. His ceiling is Nick Young. Um, I like Swaggy P. Uh, 
So Zare Wade went number two. Jalen Green goes number one. Cade goes number number three to the Mavs. Uh, Maker Maker goes to the Wizards. Um, Sharif O'Neal ends up with Pop and the Spurs. Um, we're not gonna bring back Burton. It's just there's no point. Any any bit of money that I can free up is what I'm gonna do to maybe be able to sign either a two or a three that can help. Kelly Oubre, this is a weak free agent class, which sucks. Which really sucks. This is a very weak free agent class. And that sucks because we don't have unlimited years um, with CP3 on the team. So I guess J.R. Smith can get a contract. A little bit of shooting. We'll sign some shooters to some contracts to, to you know, make shots we need shot makers over here uh, we'll do swaggy p on a minimum lance stevenson could be interesting he wants quite a lot i mean he is a decent playmaker he can handle the ball he can play the two or the three so i i kind of see how this could it could work out in our favor having lance stevenson how he could be worth the money but um i'm not sure um shump will do a one-year contract with for shump and i do i i think i do want to do a lance something with lance stevenson but we'll do a one-year contract for lance stevenson i think that's really all we're really gonna be able to do um we're basically going to be running it back with basically the same team with Lance plus Lance Stevenson and some shooting. So I'm not I'm not really sure how this is going to go. Hopefully, I just I think we could have we beat the Warriors. We took the Warriors out with D'Lo. We beat them. We took them out of the playoffs. I feel as though we can get to the finals. I feel as though we can win the finals with this team. Um. I think Drummond's going to get a little bit better. I think that CP3 isn't really regressing as much as I thought he was. And he just basically came off a breakout season. His best season in probably the last four years. Averaging 20 plus points. So. We're going to throw on tap potential at Shea Gellert. Shea Gellert. Shay Gilgis Alexander. Throw athleticism at Chris Paul. And on tap potential at who else? Our rookie we just drafted, Anton Watson. So Lance Stevenson apparently is gonna start, which I'm not opposed to at all. He can knock down the three ball. And he's a he's a great playmaker at his position. He's very versatile. Um, the rotation, a matter of fact, I am gonna switch it up. I'm gonna play Shea Gilgis Alexander at the two, get him 28 minutes a game. We're gonna take Ferguson's minutes down, give some more to Nerlens Noel, and I want to give Watson some minutes and Troy Daniels some minutes too. I'd rather Troy Daniels be up here taking some of Williams' minutes. And I want Watson up here. Nick Young is a reserve. We'll do. I want Watson to get at least 10 minutes because I just gave him untapped potential. We'll give Baisley 10 and Watson 17. I like that rotation. That rotation seems like we can win more games like that. So we win 47 games again. Evan Mobley is the rookie of the year. Six man of the year, Rudy Gay. I like that. Giannis, defensive player of the year again. Most improved, Markel Fultz. Hmm. Luke Walton, coach of the year. Jokic ends up with MVP. Um, does it seem like 
Chris Paul had the same kind of year. He didn't make any of the All NBA teams. Um, I don't think we we ended up as a fourth seed though instead of the seventh seed. Um, check the statistics. Okay. Oh my God. Chris Paul is the unluckiest guy in all of it. This is no cap. He is the most unlucky player of all time. Fractures his left leg as they end up as the fourth seed in the playoffs. He is cursed. He the no, the Nerlens goes down. Okay? He like that is insane. Um, I don't see us getting out of the first round without Chris Paul. I see New Orleans completely smacking us. We got two more years on this Rebo that I'm going to do. Uh, we're fighting for our lives here. Yeah, we get eliminated in the first round. Chris Paul is just so unlucky. It's just injury on top of injury on top of injury. If it's not him, it's his teammates. It's just... This is what happens to Chris Paul. He's had, he's had 220-plus points per game seasons and then the second one when they're the fourth seed and have a they're they're going into the first round against new orleans a team they could easily beat he goes down he, he can't play he's got a fractured left leg like that is so unlucky it's just his career is just i feel so bad for him because it's like there's nothing he can do about being this unlucky there's nothing it, it's insane how unlucky Chris Paul actually is. Even in 2K. It's crazy. We don't even have a draft pick this year. Oh, man. Chris Paul is an unlucky guy. I don't think we're going to have money for any for any big signings, to be honest. I don't think we have the cap space, to be completely honest. Uh, ben Simmons is here. DeMarcus Cousins is here. Drummond is here. We can bring Drummond back, which I think is what we're going to do. Um, don't really have money to... We don't... We're going to have to just bring Drummond back and run it back again and hope Chris Paul doesn't get hurt. $170 million with a... With a player option. I, guess, I mean, if you want the player option, whatever. Drummond comes back. It's just so unlucky. Chris Paul is the unluckiest guy ever. It's crazy. Shade Gilders Alexander is getting better. He's up to a 85 now. So, I don't know, man. Did we just do the 2022? We did, so we need 2023. Um, this is Chris Paul's 35 now. Uh, it's trying to say that we're not going to start Chris Paul, which is hilarious. We're definitely going to start Chris Paul. Uh, we got untapped potential. Give it to Shea Gilgis Alexander again. Ferguson looks like he might catch an untapped potential too. He's he's progressing very well and Watson ended up is injured right now but we'll give him one and see how he progresses in the future also we can win listen this I think this is a championship team if you ask me this is a championship team but um Got Doug McDermott now, too. But if you ask me, this is a championship team. It's just Chris Paul is so unlucky. Like, it's not funny how unlucky he is. Like, it is crazy how unlucky this man Chris Paul is. Let's see who's left on the free agency. There is Marc Gasol. Yeah, of course you're insulted about offer. You're not going to get another offer. It was worth a try. It was worth a try. Um, I don't really see anybody else here I, I, I would like. 
I mean, IT maybe. But I don't think I have IT money. Um, Derek Jones Jr. is an interesting one, but he's kind of got a eight million dollars a year. I don't know about all that. Uh, Etwan Moore. Um, he's a really good shooter, so maybe we take Etwan Moore. Um, Evans. Not really anybody here that I want to. Um, Fred Van Vliet. We'll take Fred Van Vliet. Of course, we can't have Fred Van Vliet because we have too many players on the roster. Um, is there anybody? Yeah, I will. I would rather have Fred Van Vliet than DJ Augustine as of right now. So, yeah, we'll come down here. Take Fred Van Vliet off the free agency. And then we will go on with our season. 50 games. 50 games. MVP Zion. Cole. Eddie Davis, Defensive Player of the Year. Brett Brown, Coach of the Year. I don't see... Andre Drummond! Only me 13. Um... We're the third seed. Is CP3 healthy? No. Yes. No. Oh my spinal injury. He's cursed. And Shea Gilders Alexander's hurt. Oh my god. A spinal injury? This man is a soldier. He's going to come back next year and play, too. How many more years do you have left on his contract? Oh, my God. A spinal injury at 35. Oh, my God. We might be able to still get out of the first round without him. Probably not, because Shea Gillis Alexander's hurt, too. <sighs> the unluckiest player in the NBA, like... It's, it's actually insane how, uh, like, how do you get hurt this much? I think the first year, okay, but the second year, the second year should have been, should we should have went to the finals in the second year if Chris Paul wasn't hurt. We won 50 games this year. We would have went to the finals this year, too. I think any, I think if he doesn't get hurt, we go to the finals. He's been averaging 10 assists no matter what his points are, field goal percentage, anything. 10 assists, 2 steals. All the time. But, like, when you are when you get hurt this much, there's no way you can win like that. Like, when your star point guard just gets hurt every single playoff season, every time the playoffs come, he's just... Just... Oh man, I don't even I don't even want to draft honestly. Just do, do whatever and I don't even want to. It oh god. Marquise Rice, I actually like this. That's fine with me. God. Chris Paul cannot catch a break. He cannot catch a break. I don't really think we have money for any free agents. No, don't think we do. Um, Josh Jackson. No, we we have the team. It's just injuries. This team can go somewhere, but Chris Paul is regressing because of injuries. Um, this is gonna be the last year of this rebuild. Um, I don't know, man. But anyway, I did want to talk about something in this video. I wanted to talk about what exactly has been going on. Like, I came to the striking realization 
that like if I I never I've been playing sports games all my life and I've never gotten bored of them. Okay, so I think I might kind of convert my channel over to a kind of more sports games. I don't think I want to I don't know about a conversion. I'm just saying that that's kind of what I might be doing more than playing shooters because if Call of Duty comes out and it's trash and Battlefield comes out and it's trash, like what 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 can I do now? Like what do I do now? And there's not really an answer to that other than play something that you know that you're going to enjoy most of the time. Like I don't like Madden 19, but most of the time I can I can deal with a lot of the the things that come with with sports games. So um, combat sports, maybe I don't. I have not played a WWE game in a long time. But if you guys want to see that, I'm down to do that. Um, NBA, NFL, and combat sports is basically what I'm really gonna focus on. But this team can win. Look at this squad. This team can win. Chris Paul is coming off the bench. I don't want him to. I want him to start. Um, 21 minutes here, two minutes here, Shea, Shea gives us Alexander at the two, I'm going to drag this out, I need him to start, we got JJ Redick now, we got shooting, we got defense, we got Batum, we got Redick, we got Williams, Hamadou Diallo is a good defender, he can finish at the rim, Terrence Ferguson is a good defender, Drummond is a defender, Blake Griffin is a great post scorer, Shea Gillis Alexander is a great defender at the guard position. We have the defense. We have shooting. We have defense and shooting. Those are the two things you need to win in the NBA. And we Zion MVP again. Ooh. Mobley Sixth Man of the Year. Defensive Player of the Year, Anthony Davis. Tom Thibodeau. Oh. Hmm. Okay, so six seed. Something obviously changed with the rules here. Okay, probably should have um, made sure that didn't happen. But there's like that's so weird. But we have the eleven seed Jazz. Like, do we have CP three for these playoffs? Don't tell me. And Diallo gets hurt. Torn right ACL. Like, what? Just simulate the playoffs. Like, That's it. I'm done with this rebuild. Uh, like, subscribe, do do whatever, bro. This has been a complete failure. Chris Paul's gotten hurt 10 million times. Like, it, it's... I don't know what to do at this point, honestly. He is the unluckiest... The unluckiest... Hall of Famer of all time.